the world view of the founders, if you would, because we hear today so often, they just wanted a separation of church and state. They, they wanted you to uh, keep religion totally in the closet and nothing, no Bible should be in our government. None of this should not inform our policies at all. Uh, is that a, a legitimate view of America's founding fathers? Oh, not at all. Really, our founding fathers had a philosophy of government that's based upon the word of God. You could summarize what we call the American view. The American view holds three tenets. There is a creator God, and they established very clearly it was the God of the Bible. It wasn't the idol that's the moon idol worshipped by the Mohammedans, not Buddha. It was the God of the Bible. There is a creator God, and he is the one who's given human beings God-given rights. They come from God. They don't come from any human organization, not from government. And the sole purpose of government, this is the opening paragraphs of the Declaration of Independence, the sole purpose of government is to protect those God-given rights. Therefore, their entire philosophy of government is rooted in the Word of God. In fact, their whole ex uh, explanation as to why we were separating from Great Britain was founded in the Word of God. The phrase that people today don't understand, but if you understood what our founders were reading and understanding, that phrase, the laws of nature and nature's God, directly refers to the Bible. So the Bible was the foundation for their philosophy of government. And so the whole structure of government was built upon the Word of God. Your rights come from the law of God. So you have a property right because the law of God says, thou shalt not steal. The communists, and Mary did an excellent job telling us about the communists, they don't believe anybody has property rights. Why? Because they reject the law of God. They've thrown off God's law. Therefore, the whole idea of stealing is irrelevant, other than you could steal from the government. The government owns it all because the government's God. For our founders, the government is uh, instituted by God to fulfill the task of securing and protecting the God-given rights of all the people in that society. So if you have a, a society that understands there is a creator God, our rights come from him, the sole purpose of government is to protect those God-given rights, then everyone, including those who are not Christians, have their rights protected. So the atheist has his property rights protected, even if he doesn't believe in God. And so the beauty of our American system unlike any other country in the world, it was founded on a biblical worldview of law and government. And those who did not believe in that system, nonetheless, their God-given rights were protected in this government. And that's, that's unusual, because you go to most other uh, belief systems, you know, go to Hinduism or Buddhism or Mohammedanism, your rights are not protected if you're not part of the inner clique of people that believe that religious system of belief. Yeah, and so what does your institute do to, to rekindle this understanding among America? I, I agree, this is critical. Uh, we're going to lose our country if we don't get our young people to understand the, the true roots, the true history of America. What are you guys doing to, to raise awareness of this and to get the information out? Well, we develop courses that enable people anywhere with any group of people to teach these facts. In other words, the DVD sets and the student manuals enable a, a person to lead a group of people in the instruction of the American Three group of law and government. So we have a U.S. Constitution course that helps uh, give people an understanding of what our founders meant by everything they said in the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights. And then we have a course on the jury, which I think you may have heard part of that lecture, yeah. talking about the great power of the jury to restore that view, at least in each case that, uh, that you're brought into court to uh, defend the rights of the person who's dragged into court as to whether the law is actually just. In other words, the jury, according to our founders, can judge the law before they judge the facts to determine if the law itself is in accordance with our Constitution and therefore is lawful. So we have a course on that. We're also working on a 50 state constitution projects. One of the uh, greatest tools that's neglected is every state has its own constitution. Almost nobody reads it, including the governors of the states, including the legislators, including the judges. They don't know their state constitutions. If the people know the state constitutions, then they can vet every candidate, because if a candidate not, doesn't know the state constitution running for the House or the Senate, they're not qualified. In fact, you can be, by training people in the state constitution, you can qualify people for those offices as soon as you persuade the people of the state that anybody who doesn't know their state constitution, anybody that doesn't know the U.S. constitution really is not qualified for office. And we see 50 states where our courses are being taught and we have the 50 state constitution project going on. There's a lot of exciting things happening to restore the republic. And where do people find the website? What's the website? It's theamericanview.com, theamericanview.com. Theamericanview.com. And folks, uh, we've got a special treat for you. A gentleman just walked in that you're going to want to meet. Thank you so much, Thank Pastor you. David. We appreciate it. Check out the website. Get those courses. Uh, and